In case you missed it, I restarted Animal Crossing New Horizons. Again. And now we're on day three of the new island. And in this video, I'm moving in the three villagers I found last week, as well as finding out who our first campsite villager is, which, oh boy, was that a doozy. So stick around if you'd like, subscribe to the channel to help me reach 100k, and comment down below your favorite smug villager in Animal Crossing, because who knows, that villager might be in my campsite at the end of the video. My staff, Timmy and Tommy, opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods. To sure better your better, I... We know I can't read, so let's not even bother. Tom Nook getting a phone call during his broadcast. What is this? I wonder who's calling him. Hello to me, and hello to Tank. What do you have to say? So, do you know about reactions? Not Tank giving me free therapy on my third day of the island. Oh my god, he's proving himself worthy every single day and I'm kind of respecting it. Thank you, Tank, for teaching me how to emote myself. And now we finally have all of our reactions. Yay! Anyways. What do I have in my mailbox? Something from Daisy May. I'm heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Oh look, there she is. Oh, okay, she's just here to spread her germs, so I think it's best we leave her alone. Cause spoiler alert, I'm not someone who plays with the turnip exchange and I don't plan on doing that, so sorry to the Daisy May stands. We have some other fun mail in here. I just realized that I haven't actually opened my mailbox yet. This is the first time. This is literally the letter you get on your first day. It's about time I got that, as well as this. Thank you for using the specially colored Joy-Con controllers released in association with Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's the ones I'm using right now. Oh, you get the Animal Crossing Switch. Right. So then what's in this one? Just a normal switch, I'm assuming? Oh no, it's a recipe for the DIY workbench. Oh, that's where you get that from. I was wondering this entire time. Huh, good to know. Tank, get the hell away from my switch. That's mine, not yours. Something from my mother. How's your new life treating you? Are you eating well, brushing your teeth, washing behind your ears? I sure am. Don't worry, mother. And your mom actually does give you something useful. She gives you three oranges, which is exciting because fun fact, if you plant them, you get a Nook Miles reward for that. Oh, I'm realizing right now I haven't planted a pear or a coconut yet, so I guess I should do that too. Ooh, you also get Nook Miles for learning reactions. So shout out to Tank because I got 300 extra miles for that. I'm gonna quickly plant some fruit for Nook Miles and then we're gonna get started on today's activities. We get 200 for doing a pear and 300 for a coconut. Shout out to me. And with that, uh, we can go and say hey to Tom Nook real quick, but like he said in the morning announcements, we have our Nook's Cranny shop finally ready to go. So I actually need to clear out my pockets by selling a few things. Let us go and say hello to the Nook twins in their newfound business that they created themselves. Hi, so oh my God, <gasps> Mabel. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. We still have some logistical challenges to overcome, but we still need a clothing supplier. Hmm. Mabel from the Able Sisters, aka a clothing shop, hearing this news, I wonder what's gonna happen. Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often? Wow, and just like that, we've unlocked Mabel's shop. Pretty soon that means we can unlock Able Sisters, which I am excited for. I don't really shop at Able Sisters, but I'm still here for them. I love how she just waves at you and she doesn't even bother to say hello. Like that is a busy girl right there. She is booked and busy. She has places to be. She has no time for us. Nook's Cranny is here. Yay. I immediately would like to talk to you. With our new shop comes three new services. Oh God, here's another tutorial. Let me just skip this real quick. And finally, I am here to sell my belongings. I was gonna sell these oranges, but I think it's better for me to plant those. So I'm just gonna sell this one clump of weed alongside my pears 
and these coconuts. I don't need the pants or the flooring either, so I'm just gonna get rid of them too because I need money, I'm poor. Wow, 4,000 bells, thank you so much. And with said money that I just earned, I'm gonna spend it on this flamingo because I'm responsible with my coins. And is there anything in the back cabinet worth buying right now? Ooh, a wetsuit. Ooh, but it's quite expensive, so I think I'm gonna hold off on that for now. I guess we could get this DIY pack just to get some more DIYs. Hopefully I'll get Nook Miles out of that. Let's see. I just spent all my money on the DIY set, even though I said I wasn't gonna spend all my money. Like I said, I'm very responsible with my money. And we're gonna ignore the fact that I didn't even get Nook Miles out of that. But look at all these brand stinking new recipes I got out of that. Ooh. One other thing that I completely forgot about when you upgrade your house, um, first of all, Tutorial, yay! And second of all, you actually get access to storage right away. So instead of me just cramping up my pockets with all these items, let's just quickly put them into storage. And I believe once you put something in your storage, what? Do you not get Nook Miles for putting one item in your storage? What, I have to put five things, 20? I have to put 20 things in my storage to get Nook Miles for that? Why not one? I feel like putting one item would make more sense, but okay, I guess, sure. To start off today, I have so many weeds left on the mainland that I said I was gonna pick and clean up. So I'm doing that, as you can see. And I'm also gonna chop down nearby trees just to harvest some wood real quick because something tells me I'm gonna need a lot of wood today. I don't know why, I just feel it in my bones. This was the money rock the last time I hit it. So let's see if it's gonna be the money rock again. No. All right, we are gonna be collecting some more weeds now. I will see you when I got a pocket, got a pocket full of weeds. I just collected a lot of weeds and alongside that I also hit some rocks and watered my flowers until my watering can broke. And I ended up selling everything that I got to earn some money and Nook Miles. And with all that out of the way, let us finally go and see what Tom Nook wants us to do today because it's about time we progress the game. Hi, sir. Ooh, look at him on the phone. That cell phone is nowhere near his ear. How the hell is he hearing what's going on? For some time now, I've been advertising the Camp Raddick getaway package. And wouldn't you know it, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Glad to hear it. I wonder who those three people are. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Wonderful, except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I feel like Anchovy would. He doesn't even deserve a tent. He should just be sleeping with the fishes. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. You are a billionaire. I thought you'd be smarter than that. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishing. It's just too much for one raccoon. You're a tanuki. But this, here you are in my hour of need. It certainly must be fate. Here we go again. It's funny how Tom Nook says, this is too much for one entity to do. So then instead of him helping me, he's gonna have me do it all by myself. Why can't we do this together? You're just sat here in this tent doing what? Like, I guess you're preparing the papers and all that, but you're making me do all the hard labor. Meanwhile, you're just signing contracts and negotiating deals. Here's what I'm thinking. We should start by building a bridge across the river somewhere. I guess he does build the bridge too. Too, so that's fair. So in order for us to get a bridge on the island, we have to construct it by ourselves using the bridge construction kit. And can I just say, I think it's such a missed opportunity that that's not a permanent recipe in our pockets. How cool would it have been for us to craft our own bridges that don't count towards the 10 bridges that we can just place anywhere like a furniture item? It's such a missed opportunity. But as you saw in the recipe, it requires stone, clay, and these four log stakes, which as a big brained individual, I crafted these the day before. With all that, we can just craft the bridge right away and get it placed down. All right, the bridge is crafted. And before we place it down, I need to craft an ax because mine broke. With the bridge construction kit in our pockets, we need to figure out a place on the map where we should plop it down. I don't plan on keeping this bridge for the long term, so I think I'm just gonna stick it over here in this corner so that way I can get rid of it immediately. Hooray, we have our bridge plopped and ready to go. And real quick, before I go back to Tom Nook, I'm gonna chop down some more wood because Again, I have this really strong urge that we're gonna need some.
No. <laughs> I actually tried to... Oh, my God, and my Joy-Con fell. Oh, God, everything's going bad now. All right, my axe broke once again, but I think I've got enough wood for the time being. Let's go back to Tom Nook, because I'm sure that man has been waiting for me this entire time. It's time for something more exciting. We get to plop down the three houses and get these housing plots ready to go. And we also get some DIY recipes. Ooh, we're getting so many DIY recipes today. I forgot how many you get easily at the beginning of the game. It's like so satisfying until you get to like one month in your island and then all of a sudden you're just getting the same DIY recipes over and over again. I have the three plots in my possession and normally I like to just plop all my plots on the beach, but unfortunately the first three plots that you get are super duper big because they also, for some reason, come with yards that aren't actual yards because there's no fence or anything. I also don't wanna place these too far away. So I guess it would make sense to keep them on the mainlands. I guess we could put them nearby everybody else. Tank, I'm sorry, sir, but you're gonna have to move out of the way as I plop, I can't put that there. Why does this need so much space? I do not understand. There's housing plot number one. Thank you, Tank, for your approval and Tom Nook is calling us with something. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot of each home. It will show the items required for that plot. And Tom Nook is calling me once again. Thank you so much, Thomas. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. How can you be this incompetent as a billionaire? Sir, you are the leader of the island at the moment. Get it together. You'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing up on the cliff. If you so toodle up there, so toodle up there if you need to. Toodle up there? I never realized he says that. What the fuck does toodle up there mean? <laughs> and yes, this is how you get the ladder recipe. He sends it alongside the other furnitures. Toodle up there? I have never heard somebody say that before. Toodle up there? All three of our housing plots are placed down. Normally, I like to try and craft all the items at once, but I think this time around, I'm gonna take things one by one, you know? Instead of doing them all at once and getting super duper confused, let's focus on one plot at a time. Starting with the first plot, which for the interior, we're gonna need a pair wardrobe, a pair bed, and a pot. Hay bed, swinging bench, barrel. Okay, do I remember all those items? Pair wardrobe, pair bed, um, and a pot. Where's the pot? Do I not have the pot recipe? Yes, I do. Pot, and then for the exterior, I don't remember what the exterior was. Oh, sh hay bed, swinging bench, barrel. Hay bed, swinging bench, barrel. Nice. So we're gonna need 10 pieces of wood total for the items. We're gonna need some softwood, iron nuggets, clay, weed, pears. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get some clay and some pears. Come to think of it, might not actually be that hard because remember, I put some things in my storage. So I'm pretty sure I have clay in there. Yes, I do. And I'm gonna take out all of these items right now, just so I have them ready to go. I'll leave the oranges in there for now. So all I need to do right now is just get some pears and I'll have everything ready to go right away. Huh, the first house so far, pretty easy. Let's hope it stays that way. How many pairs did I need again? 10, 20? Oh gosh, I only have three. Oh my God, now I'm gonna have to run around the entire island looking for so many pear trees. We have a bunch right over here. Actually, there's a lot of them back here. Oh, never mind. We're good. Everything is craftable. So, good job, me. High five to me. I actually just high fived myself. Wow. This is why I'm single. Ooh, and I also have enough to get a DIY workbench. It's probably not a good idea because I do need that wood for other furniture items, but at least I don't have to come back constantly and through a loading screen to craft now. I can just do it outside. It'll make things so much easier. All the items are submitted and ready to go. Yay! And now we're moving on to plot number two. What does this one require? A wooden block stereo, wooden block table, and a rose wreath. No, don't click your passport. That did not help because I completely forgot what I was supposed to get. Wooden block stereo, wooden block table, and a rose wreath, right? That's what they were. Stupid passport, it made me forget. And the exterior items, iron garden chair, iron garden table, and birdhouse. So what does all this require? Oh, right, you need wooden block toys to craft the wooden block furniture sets. So I have to get more 
softwood for that because we're going to need six softwood just to craft the toys and then you're going to have to use more softwood alongside the wooden block toys to craft the table and the stereo anyway so like why not just add the softwood from the wooden block toy to the thing and make it eight softwood and 11 softwood instead i don't logic in this game it's very confusing oh i basically just need a bunch of softwood that's all i'm missing and three of each colored rose that's found on the cliff. And in order to get that, I'm gonna need a ladder. Oh gosh, I have to craft a ladder, which requires even more softwood. Why do I need so much softwood today? Oh my God, I don't even have an ax, my ax broke. I'm gonna leave the workbench over here just to make things a little easier. First things first, let us craft this ax and let us get to chopping away because I'm gonna have to get so much softwood today. Wow, and I'm also a poet and I didn't even know it. Oh God, and the first tree only gave me the other two kinds of wood, so we're already off to a bad, so oh, never mind, I got two softwood. Okay, we're off to a better start now. Are you kidding me? Why am I only getting the other kinds of wood? I'm gonna have to chop down every single tree on the island today in order to get the wood, huh? Oh, I already chopped these trees, oh gosh. I am just gonna chop down all the trees first and then come back and collect them, otherwise this is gonna take way too long. And even though I do have all the time in the world today, um, I would rather not spend it just chopping down some trees. So for putting a bunch of, oh, and there goes my first ax, wow. Maybe if I was smarter, this wouldn't be so hard. I have a big brain. Um, let me use it properly. It really isn't that difficult. And none of those were softwood, by the way. None of those were softwood. Of course, when I actually, oh, and now this tree spawns three pieces of wood. That's normally one of the harder woods to get and I get them so easily. Why are there no softwood? Where are the soft? I'm gonna have beef with softwood after this because how come none of these trees are giving me softwood? Thank you, thank you. This one tree right over here, this is the only tree I respect because they gave me two. I know for a fact that y'all are so tired of me saying softwood constantly, but like, can you blame me? I need softwood and none of these trees are giving it to me except for this tree back here. Thank you for giving me two as well. This is so annoying. I just chopped all of these trees and I'm like 90% sure I didn't even get enough softwood for one furniture item. That's not true. I got enough at least for the wooden block toys but I don't think I got enough for anything else. 16, I don't think 16 is enough for everything, but at least it's better progress than I assumed. So I'll stop complaining now. I just remembered I have to craft a ladder too. So I guess I'm gonna do the ladder crafting first cause I actually have to get to the second tier now. There's no more trees on the first tier to chop. Oh man, that means all the hard earned softwood that I just earned, I'm gonna have to give up four of them in order to craft a ladder, please. It was also a very bad idea for me to leave this workbench all the way over here. If I had it in my pockets, I could have just left it up there and not have to run all the way back down. I just need a bunch of softwood, which is like normally the easiest wood to find. And yet for some reason, the game is just like, no. Actually, you know, cause technically, I feel like normal trees give you more softwood than cedar trees. Correct me if I'm wrong on this one. I guess I could have just been chopping all these ones over here on this island, which by the way, the main reason why I picked this map the first time around and I picked it again is because of this cute little like private island right over here. Isn't this so cool? The fact that some of these maps give us like little islands within the island. I don't know if I want to do a no terraforming island again, because the more I think about it, the more fun it would be. Maybe I would might do like minimal terraforming on this island just to like keep the island as natural as it can be. I'm like planning things right now. Bagworm, did I chop these trees over here? I don't think I chopped those ones. I guess we can hop on over there and get those down out of the way too. Is there any other way to access this side? No, you actually have to get here using the vaulting pole during the beginning of the games. Like this is the other reason why I like this map a lot is because like there's so many areas that you can't just like walk to even on the mainland, like the little island over here and the little strip of land that I'm currently on, you actually have to like build a bridge or use a vaulting pole to get to it. I feel like I just chopped so many more trees and 18, I only got two out of all these trees that I chopped. The game has to be doing this on purpose, right? 
it. Like it, just, it like it, it mm. why is it that when you actually need the wood that you need, they don't give it to you? I just need softwood. I'm actually chopping down these trees hoping to get softwood, which is usually the easiest one to come across, like I said. And yet this time around, the game's just like, no. Softwood, it's actually rare. You were lied to. It's very, very rare. It's taking every single thing inside of me right now to not just like scream at the fact that I'm getting no pieces of softwood. So I just, I think I just need to shut up for a second and not speak until I get enough softwood. Thousands of tears later. I got two softwood out of this one. I just need one more. I just need, oh wait, I have 24. <gasps> After all the trials and tribulations, I have donated every item needed for the second plot. There's still one more left. Everything is craftable right now. Oh my God, it looks like I have enough items. You know what, I'm saying it right now, whoever moves into this second plot right over here, which I'm like 90% sure it's the Peppy Villager. I am so sorry to Felicity, but we officially have beef. The amount of work that I had to go to to build your house, Miss Felicity, it's over for you. I'm sorry, girl, I love you, but I don't at the same time. Everything required is done. All the homes are prepped and ready to go. So now we we run back to Tom Nook and his big fat ass who just sat in the fuck. Uh. Everything is done. I did everything for you. Thank you so much for all your hard work. You're welcome, Tom Nook. At least he thanks me and he's grateful for the fact that I do this. So I can't be too mad at him for that. That's true. Look at him expressing his gratitude the way a man should. That means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on home construction right away. He is building the houses. So I guess I shouldn't be too mad at him. Although, is he gonna actually build the houses by himself? Or does he bring people in to do it for him? I'm very curious by that. Who builds the houses? And I mean, the fact that he does this in three days too, maybe I am just being mean for the sake of being mean. I should give Tom Nook more credit. Everything that needs to be done on day three. Why is he running up so close to me? Whoa, whoa, this is too close for my liking, Tom Nook. Back up. Everything that needs to be done on day three is officially done. And sadly, there won't be anything exciting for the next few days because the only monumental things that happen are the villagers moving in. Look at Leaf in the background just staring at the camera. He's just so happy to be here. I love that for him. Ew. Why did he have to move in first? Oh my goodness. It is currently day four. And finally, Tank and Quinn have upgraded their homes. And as we can see in the background, hey, his house is actually pretty nice. Wait, I'll give him that. He does have a nice exterior. Hello to you already here for a visit unpacking this stuff is going to take me all day so can you please come back tomorrow we live on the same island now so we'll be able to play every day i'm so excited chirp he's here harvey's here too hey yeah hey you live on this island thought so I'm from like the next island over. My name's Harvey. Yay, Harv's Island. I can assure you that I'm going to forget about this for the time being. So at least it's finally unlocked. Also, Leaf is here, my baby. <gasps> and I have enough bells too. We can get shopping right away. Ugh, Leaf is my favorite store NPC person. Can I just say that? I love this man so much. Blue Hydrangea, Sugar Cane from season 11. Wow, what is up with all the Drag Race references? Leaf, I love you. I will be buying you out. Moments later. Um. So I kind of got carried away. I totally forgot about this, but day four is also when you unlock the customization workshop. We might as well do it because we can finally learn how to customize our items. And the summary of it, he has you build a cabinet and then you're able to change the color of said cabinet. That's basically what I'm doing today. Ooh, I got Nook Miles, I think for learning another recipe. Wow, Tom Nook just gave me my 50th recipe. Thank you so much, Tom Nook. That's so kind of you. But now we are tasked with crafting a wooden wardrobe, which requires 12 wood. And I did spend yesterday chopping down a bunch of trees. So I'm like 90% sure that I have enough wood already. Ooh, yes, I do. I have so much wood available. 
Oh, thank God, this makes my life so much easier. And the wooden wardrobe is craft. And since I'm already here, let us continue with the workshop. He gives me the customization kits needed. And then at the workbench, you're able to change it to either white, cherry wood, dark wood, black, green, blue, or pink. Out of all these options, I'm feeling the pink one once again, cause I do love me a good pink wardrobe. Yes, we have a brand new wardrobe ready to go. That's pretty much all there is to day four. Um, so let's just chill for the rest of the day. I'm kind of in the mood to just earn some Nook Miles. I think that's the main thing that I'd like to do today because I wanna upgrade my pockets. Oh, I already have enough. <gasps> I have 5,000. Is it worth, like I have 5,000 miles. Is it worth immediately upgrading my pockets right away? Or should I save up some more just so I have some to, oh my God, look at that. I have 30 slots now. Like I said, I'm not responsible with my money. I could get 200 Nook Miles for talking to my three neighbors. Um, That does mean that I'm gonna have to talk to Anchovy again, but I guess that's worth it. Tank is currently home. Hooray, we get to see what the inside of his house looks like. Although I'm pretty sure we all know what it's gonna look like. Look at this, it's a load of nothing. The starter house is in this game, man. You are, I guess, I was about to say, I hate that you can't upgrade them, but if you have a happy home paradise, you actually can. So they can go back to their normal houses finally. Guess what? I finally own something that I even I have trouble lifting. I have a house now. That is actually such a big deal, Tank. Being able to own your own house, that is something worth celebrating. Let's celebrate together. This is his house. It's blue, so I'll give him credit for that. He does have good taste. Blue is a great color. I'm not biased. Winifer is also inside of her house. That's exciting. I know what the her, what the inside of her house looks like because she was my starter before. And I will say it, it is so weird how not her style this is. White brick walls, light brown flooring. The only thing in here that makes sense is the sleeping bag because it's black. But like, dang, I just feel bad for her. Ooh, she's crafting something by the way, I just realized that. I'm making an iron shelf. <gasps> Ooh, that's like one of the good ones. Nice, that's the first recipe I'm getting from an islander. And now I have to return to this flop's house to talk to him once again. I don't want to have to do this, but do you have anything you'd like to say? <laughs> Since I'm starting over here, I'm gonna be the best decorator. Your floors are literally made out of dirt. That's a bold statement coming from you, babes. I only talk to him to benefit myself because I got 200 miles for that. So thanks, I guess, anchovy. Oh. Okay, I was just gonna chop until my axe broke, which it has, and I got 13 softwood. Once again, it's the least out of all of them. No, 100%, they changed the rates of the wood, the way the wood drops. It has to have, because bef okay, my net broke too. Thanks. Fun fact, I, um, I did say I wasn't gonna time travel, but I actually didn't play for the last two days. So technically today would actually be day six if I didn't time travel. So what if I just played day five and day six today? Maybe that's a good idea. I'm gonna time travel again and y'all can't stop me. Ha 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 ha. Also, now is a great time to admit, um, it's not actually the 26th today. I accidentally was time traveled a few days in advance. Technically, I, it says I started this island on the 23rd, but I actually started this island on June 20th. So in retrospect, I actually have been time traveling this entire time. We have Felicity on the island, who I still have beef with because of the amount of software I had to get. And that's it. All we have to do today to progress the game is just say hi to Felicity. Hi, Felicity. All right, that's it. Moving on to the next day. Now for today's news, Camp Raddick has Coco. Oh my God, I forgot Coco was the fifth villager. I'm praying to myself because the, the island is officially cursed from here on forth. And one more thing. Oh yes, tomorrow on day seven, Resident Services is gonna relocate into an actual building, which means we can finally progress the game. Yay. As much as I'd love to just go and say hi to Coco real quick, I'm gonna first just check on my mail because, oh my God, Luna. Luna gives you a free bed, so I'm gonna take that. Also, there were some things that I bought from Nook Shopping. 
Um, let me just quickly, you know, unbox all those items and we'll do that real quick. And then we're just gonna do some other things before we go say hi to Coco. I like, you know, we don't have to say hi to Coco today. We can say hi to Felicity again. I was like way into this walk, but then it started to get boring. And then I found you and it's fab again. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Felicity. That's so kind. We are gonna say hi to Coco. Oh God, this is the ultimate reunion. I haven't seen her since the Eld New days. This is scary, this is scary. I'm like 90% sure she murdered Peck too before she came here. So like, hi. I've relocated, but as you can see, I've got a lot of unpacking to do. Thanks for convincing me to make this change. I'm excited to be here. Okay, bye, I don't wanna to talk to you anymore. So I actually played day seven off camera. Um, so technically we're on day eight. Okay, that's enough of that. That's getting annoying now. Anyways, we're here today because something exciting is happening. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God, Maple's here too. That's more exciting, honestly. It is Friday, June 30th, even though it's actually not. It's currently the 28th. And now the big announcement, resident services is upgraded. And that isn't even the best part about it. You know what it is? Yes! Isabel has finally returned and she is here to make all of our lives better. The ultimate girl boss of Animal Crossing. And she's joined by another ultimate girl boss, Miss Mabel in the background. I did not realize how unhinged the area in front of my house looks now. But yeah, like I said before, I kind of just played day seven off camera because it was more or less the same as the last few days. I just kind of spent the time just chilling around, not really doing much to kind of progress the island because there really wasn't much to do. It was nice to just relax and chill and actually play the game the way Nintendo intended. Who could have thunk that Animal Crossing New Horizons is actually still a fun game in 2023? But now we are here on day eight. First things first, on this glorious day, we need to say hey to Mabel. Hey, I feel like every time I talk about this, people always try and like correct me in the comments for this. So I actually Googled it. And apparently you are supposed to spend 5,000 bells at her store in order to like get Abel Sisters unlocked. I don't know if that's still true. Google says it's true, but even if it's false, I'm still gonna buy clothes because there's a lot of cute things, like this track jacket. I'm gonna show you the new outfit I'm gonna create with these clothes in three, two, one. I think this is cute. It's a much better improvement from what I was wearing before, so I'm gonna keep wearing it. As we come and say hello to Tom Nook and Isabel, we're met with so much dialogue. So let's just fast forward to the point. Tom Nook wants to do something grand to celebrate the brand new island. He wants the KK Slider, the person who I hallucinated on the first night, to come and put a show on Camp Raddick. I love KK Slider, obviously, and Tom Nook does too. Look at us both having excellent taste in music. Mm -hmm. His song, KK Lament, is my go-to karaoke song. I cannot believe that Tom Nook is a KK Slider stand confirmed. Comment down below if you are too. And in order for that to happen, we need more visitors to come to our island. We need more folks to move here and we need to work hard to increase the overall image of the island. And the first thing we have to do is add a campsite to the island. Here it is. It's finally time. I'm so excited, can't you tell? How do you craft the campsite again? What is required of it? 15 of each wood and 15 iron nuggets. Let us craft this campsite, which I said before with the bridges, how I wish we were able to craft more bridges on our own and kind of place them down temporarily. How cool would it have been if we were able to place down more than one campsite as well? Like, Am I weird for thinking that? I don't know. Wouldn't it be interesting to have more than one campsite? By the way, I'm gonna place it like right kind of here because I want it in a nice aesthetically pleasing spot, um, mainly for the thumbnail. So I think I'm gonna place it like maybe right here. I feel like it could look really cute, but like imagine if we were able to craft more than one campsite and more than one of these kinds of bridges and we were able to just place them and that lets us invite more than one villager to our island, I feel like that would be overkill. So maybe it would have to be like a really complicated process in order to have more than one campsite on your island or something. But still with the bridges, those temporary bridges 
that you're able to craft. I wish that was a feature in the game. Like this game really emphasizes crafting. And yet I feel like there was still so much they can do with the crafting mechanic. So I said thumbnails thing. Um, this is a very dumb purchase, but I am gonna get the pro camera app right away because I need it for thumbnails. <laughs> I wanna take really good thumbnails, including the one for this video. So yeah, I could be saving these Nook Miles for other things like more pocket space or better tools, but here I am prioritizing my YouTube career over my Animal Crossing Island. As you can see, I do have my priorities in check. With all that out of the way, that's really the only important thing that you have to do the first day of resident services is just place down the campsite. So now that that's done and dandy, I have to wait until tomorrow to see what comes next. And considering the fact that I've already been time traveling, good morning gamers. It's a brand new day. No, it's not. It's literally been five minutes. I'm time traveling again. <laughs> now for today's announcements. Camp Radic has its very own campsite, which makes sense. That's so camp. And the campsite is a place for villagers to experience the beauty of your island and the kindness of its residents. Considering the fact that anchovies here, I doubt that that statement's true, but I fuck with you for trying, Isabel. Thank you. And with the campsite, fine. Oh, my phone is ringing. Why is my phone ringing? Happy home paradise. Oh my god. I will probably not be playing Happy Home Paradise anytime soon. It's been a very long time since I've done that. So I will see you some other time, I guess. And with that out of the way, let us go and see the brand new campsite and move on with our lives. <gasps> it's here and it's currently empty because it's not until the next day that the campsite villager actually comes. And thanks to the power of time traveling, it's the next day and we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Oh God, please, please Animal Crossing Gods, please don't do me dirty. And here we are on a brand new day and Tank wants to say, hey, what do you want? Did you hear that? There's some kind of scary wrestling sound coming from behind you and now you're gaslighting me? You are so lucky that I'm currently occupied. Otherwise I'd push you into the ocean right now. But thank you for this reaction, honestly. Thank you therapist once again, because this reaction is super fitting for today of all days. I am currently in distress because we have to go and say hi to the first campsite villager of the new island. Mabel's here. Hi, do you have anything you'd like to say? I'm gonna quickly do some shopping <laughs> just to get her to move on here. Ooh, like this denim jacket is so cute. One pair of pants later. Let's just get into it. It's most likely gonna be a smug villager who I, I tend to have beef with a lot of the smug villagers in this game. So let's see which one I'm gonna be beefing on this island. Oh my God, please, please. What? What the fuck is that? This is weird. Wait, this is actually weird. He was my first ever campsite villager in this game on this specific island. And I got him again. Are you kidding me? Huck? His mouth is literally the letter J. He has a pimple for a nose. No offense to Huck, but he serves filler queen energy. Okay, I'm officially like, wow, wow. Like, just wow. I I have no words. But unfortunately, Huck once again has to move to my island. Look at this dude. Look how ugly he looks too. He's not even ugly in a cute way. He's just ugly. You think you're doing something right now? No, you're not. Just ew, what is this? Ew. Do you have anything you'd like to say for yourself? Yeah, walk away. Walk away, sir. Thank you. Thomas. Nookington, I need you here stat. Out of all the smug villagers in this game, that's the one you decided to invite? I thought you were better than that, Tom Nook. That's all I'm gonna say. I am just gonna plop his ass across the river. He needs to be far away from the rest of us with his boring ass. Sorry to the Huck stands if any of them even exist. I have nothing to say about him. Nada, zip, like nothing. Huck is moving in. And finally, Tom Nook will allow us to move on with the mission by inviting more villagers. And I just remembered that it costs 10,000 bells per plot. And I currently only have 
10,000 bells. So I'm gonna have to make a lot of money in order to move in these villagers. That's something we're gonna have to worry about next week. But until then, he's moving in. You got me a personal red carpet and my own VIP cabana? I'm gonna step on you. Huh. <sighs> so with all that out of the way, I guess this is moving on to my island. And more excitingly, we can finally start going on more villager hunts, which means I'm gonna have to start grinding up for miles and bells in order to make that happen. So until then, see y'all next week. And let's pray that one of the four villagers I find is a dreamy. And if not, they are going to die.